Today guys, I bring you 5 glitches that still work with Borderlands 3. Some old, some new, all you can take advantage of. How's it going guys, my name's DPJ and today I bring you another BR3 video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like really helps out. And subscribe if you want to see more. On screen now you can see my weekly giveaway along with last week's winner. To be in with a chance of winning this yourself, make sure you are subbed and have notifications turned on. Drop a like on this video and leave a comment down below. Okay, so the takedown at the Maliwan Black Site patch basically removed many of the glitches we saw in game. But they didn't remove all of them. There are still a few you can take advantage of, which will surely make certain aspects of the game a lot easier for you. Now, some of these have been around since before the update, some are newly found, so let's get into it. So at 5 is a glitch we have seen surface over the past few days. Credit to Osterberg for first covering this, his channel can be found linked within the video description. So this glitch consists of you having equipped a shield which has any of the following perks. Weapon damage increase while shield is depleted, fire rate increase when shield is depleted, melee damage increase while shield is depleted and so forth. Any bonus upon shield depleted can and will stack with this glitch and any shield with said perk on it will work with this. Now this is very similar to a glitch I posted a while back which worked on Amara only which involved similar shields and a blood letter class mod. That glitch and today's glitch allow you to stack these perks to an extent where if it's damage you stack you can literally one hit everything in the game. Literally guys it's absolutely ridiculous. Now the reason I put this glitch in at number 5 is because upon my testing, which at first I didn't see anyone else who covered this glitch mention, was the fact that the stacking you do with this glitch is easily disabled. So firstly to do this glitch, make sure you find yourself a save point near a place where you can literally kill yourself by jumping off the map. Then it's just a process of literally spawning in and keep jumping off the map. This each time stacks the benefits of your shield, making certain aspects you can stack utterly brutal. If it's a 25% damage increase on shield break, every time you throw yourself off the map and load back in, this will stack it and you will literally be able to one hit every boss in the game. Now how this works this way I have no idea, but it does. The downside people and the reason it's at number 5 is the fact that when you are in a fight using this glitch of stacking whatever perk, the issue is the fact of when your shield then becomes depleted, you lose all stacks you have achieved with throwing yourself off the map. Now there might be a workaround, but at the moment there isn't. So although this is great for stacking said perks, stacking damage and so forth, but the moment your shield then becomes depleted you lose all stacks and it's just way too easy to lose all stacks. So it can in the minds of many make this glitch pretty pointless when taking on harder hitting foes, so keep that in mind. Ok so next up is a glitch for money, infinite amounts of money and well if you have been abusing the previous glitch and a few others I will cover today then you will need some for sure. All this takes is a low level weapon, something easily obtainable from the right sources and a money battle. For instance here I'm using the infinite pistol level 1. Then all you gotta do is go find yourself a money bell, shoot away for millions in minutes. Now this is one of the older glitches within today's video but I just wanted to let you guys know it still works. Now the best place to do this is within Ambermere upon Eden 6. If you run along here you will come across Jabba's carrying barrels. These are the candy here, so kill surrounding enemies and then try and kill these Jabba's without destroying the barrels. Do this right and they will drop that money bell. If you have your low level weapon at hand you can shoot away at this barrel for literally an unlimited amount of money and the time it takes to make this stupid amount of money is literally minutes. Obviously Mayhem 3 is best here as for some reason it still rewards more cash than Mayhem 4. So until that's fixed Mayhem 3 is best for this. So next up is a glitch I covered the other day. This glitch allows you to spawn in an unlimited amount of red chests which over time reward legendaries. Now let's get one thing straight here. I hate when people claim say glitches reward hundreds of legendaries within minutes without actually testing this. That is not the case at all here people. That's a shocking statement. And as I said in my initial video, for sure there are much easier ways to farm legendaries, there is no question about that. This is just unique in the fact you don't have to do any work at all. No, you're loading in and out and it's as simple as running in a little circle. So how this works and how you get unlimited red chests is within the system of slaughter. Once you get here and start up via pressing the green button, 
To your right you will notice a chest will spawn in a red chest within a locked crate. Normally you have to complete this slot to unlock this crate. Not with this glitch you don't. If you then after you start this up run into this back corner you will notice all enemies will despawn and that crate will open up. Now like I said this doesn't drop any major amount of legendaries but let's face it nowadays there are many epic and rare weapons equally as good. But you do get the odd legendary from this chest. Now to get this to respawn you simply run back to that start up button press it then run back into the corner watch everything despawn that crate then opens up again and you can run and go grab it again and you can literally just keep rinsing and repeating this process. Word of warning the red chest though does seem to glitch out if you leave loot there without picking it up. I for the most part only got access to this chest when crouching so if I were you I'd pick up and drop that loot you don't want. Now if the chest does glitch I'd simply load out and load back in. Now this glitch was brought to my attention by I'm Nico, so credit to him, his channel can be found linked within the video description. So next up we have the good old duplication glitch. Now since the game has been released, there have been many introduced. The one I cover today is by far the best and fastest method. I've covered it in the past but today I want to reassure you it still works. So you and a pal need to head to Sanctuary. The person duping can't be the host. So once in Sanctuary, you both need to go into your banks. Here the host just randomly puts things in and out of his vault as quickly as possible. What this does is build up a lag for the non-host player to dupe items within their vaults or banks. So all the non-host player does is spam the said item to be duped. Do this from your inventory into your bank or from your bank into your inventory, it doesn't really matter. If done right and it's harder to do wrong, this seemingly dupes said items as easy as that, as when you are spamming them into your bank, it dupes the item. Simple people. So next up we have a pair of glitches. Both do the same thing, one's for flak only, the other works on all vault hunters. And what this glitch does is allow you to basically build up a weapon, any weapon to a point of it being able to destroy all in mere seconds. Now both of these glitches I've made videos on in the past, but I have something to add to one of them. So I'll first let you listen to how these are done from my previous video and then I will get back at you. So check that out on screen now. Now this doesn't require any specific class mod, shield anointment or artifact. All this requires is money because you have to respect a bunch of times. So on flak and flak only at the moment, this is how you get this done. Head to Sanctuary and grab any weapon of your choice. I will demonstrate this with Illusions Cool as I love this thing and it also, as we know, returns ammo back to the magazine which is a benefit for sure. So respec using the quick change vending machine. Then go into your skill trees and spec down into Toothang and make sure you apply 5 into this. What Toothang does on a 5 spec is give you a 25% chance to fire an extra projectile. So spec down into this. Then you want to empty your weapons clip and let it reload just to make sure the perk has indeed activated itself. Then you want to respec again. After you've respec again spec into that two fangs perk. And then it's all about a rinse and repeat process. Just basically keep doing this with your weapon of choice and each time you respec you seemingly gain an additional projectile. And this stacks literally for as long as you want to sit here doing this. So the process, respec, spec 5 into 2 fangs, empty your weapons clip, let it reload, respec, spec 5 into 2 fangs, empty your weapons clip, let it reload, rinse and repeat. And like I said you can do this for an unlimited amount of times. A few rules though, you can't quit to the main menu as you lose the stack, but you can fast travel around and even die. It works as far as my testings went on one weapon at a time. And once you've achieved the number of extra projectiles you think is necessary, you can go ahead and rebuild your setup. Doing this for a little over 5 minutes, you can see the effects it had on Illusion's cool. The thing just absolutely melts. This is Mayhem 4 by the way. Again, after 5 minutes of doing this, imagine what it would be like if you sat there for 20 minutes. Absolutely ridiculous. So yeah guys, this is literally a way to kill everything the game offers in mere seconds. Now this current method, this quicker process is only available to do on flak at the moment. But there is another way to do this on all other Vault Hunters which I covered a few days back. I will play a clip from that video on how this is done but it does require a few different things. 
which you still have until the 5th of December to actually get. So check out that clip on screen now. Now what this glitch allowed you to do was literally make any weapon with a certain common terror anointment an absolute machine, capable of killing all things this game offers in mere seconds. The glitch literally consists of two things to make it super efficient. A shield or grenade mod with the terror anointment of on action skill end, apply terror to yourself every 5 seconds for the next 18 seconds. So having a grenade with this on or a shield is absolutely perfect. I will state the shield or grenade can be of any rarity, it does not matter as when you achieve this glitch you can switch to your favourite shield and grenade mod afterwards anyway. So rarity does not matter as long as they have this anointment on them. Then all you need is a weapon that you are happy using and it has to have this anointment on it. While terrified you have a chance to fire an extra projectile per shot, the more terror you have the higher the bonus. It helps having a weapon that won't run out of ammo quick either. My Lucian's call is perfect as crit hits return bullets back to the mag. But again here, any weapon with this anointment works and of any rarity as long as you are happy with the weapon you are using. So with this weapon, your weapon of choice equipped with this anointment, equip any other weapon, it doesn't matter what it is. So for now, only be using two weapons just to make this easier. Then what you want to do is make sure that shield or grenade mod is equipped with the anointment of applying terror to yourself and action skill cooldown. Then within Sanctuary or anywhere else, activate your action skill. Now on Zane, you can simply press the action skill button, then press your inventory button. This applies terror to yourself, but doesn't take away your action skill ability. So you can keep spamming this and keep gaining that terror effect. And that's what I'm doing in this video if you are wondering when you see me quickly pull up my menu. This could work on other Vault Hunters too, but because I only play Zane, I can't guarantee that. But I'm pretty sure I have seen people do this on other Vault Hunters. Either way, using your action skill or not, it doesn't change its effect. Just being able to cancel it and actually get the terror effect just makes it a little quicker. So on action skill, you will notice you have gained that terror effect. Then what you want to do is fire that weapon with that extra shot anointed until the clip is empty. Then mid reload, switch to the other weapon of choice. Once you have switched, wait about a second, then switch back. In my case, back to the Lucian's cool, and then let it reload. Then empty its clip again. Then again during reload, switch to that second weapon, wait a second then switch back. This has to be done while you are under that terror effect. What this does is stack extra projectiles, meaning the more you do this, the more projectiles you actually fire. And the crazy thing about this is people, even when the terror effect is vanished, you keep the extra projectiles per shot. Me doing this for a little over two minutes, I gained so many extra projectiles on my Lucian's call, it was absolutely crazy. And you can see the effects this has on that test dummy. So as you saw, those glitches theoretically can be abused until you can literally be firing a thousand shots per single shot. If that's what you want to do, that's up to you. Can't guarantee it won't crash your game though. Now a few things I have learned with the terror version of this glitch. If you have both the shield and the grenade mod which apply terror to yourself upon the action skill end, it seems to actually double up on the progress of applying the weapon's anointed perk of firing an extra projectile. So it basically allows you to do this glitch, apply this glitch even quicker. It's like it's doubling the effect and basically stacking. Another thing I have learned also with this terror version of the glitch is the fact that applying this to a weapon, doing this glitch and allowing it so to speak on Illusion's cool to fire 50 shots per single shot, then dropping a weapon on the floor and having a teammate pick it up, it keeps the effect of having all those extra projectiles, which is just utterly crazy people and I have no idea how this works. So if you want to take on Wharton with a pal or a team of pals, a team of three, you could theoretically do this glitch for all players. So keep that in mind, people. So yeah, guys, those were five glitches. Well, theoretically six glitches, but hey, two are the same thing. But yeah, those guys are five glitches that still work in game now. So take advantage of them while you can. Some of these have been around for a while. And if Gearbox do plan on nerfing them, that's been something on their to-do list for quite some time. So like I said, take advantage of them while you can. But on that note, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps me out. If you're new around here and want to see daily Borderlands videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.